Hello and welcome to Sega News Bits and today I'm doing a solo News Bits uh, episode to talk about the Game Gear Micro which was just announced by Sega over in Japan. I know we did a video uh, a couple days ago talking about that Sega was going to have some revolutionary news. They, there was a lot of speculation that maybe that Sega was going to rebrand the Xbox Series X as like Sega Series X over in Japan which came out to not be true. They even had a Chinese investor or opinion person come out and say that that's not true. But now we finally found out that this whole revolutionary news, I guess, was supposed to be the Game Gear Micro, and this is supposed to come out because the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive Mini was such a success. And I guess now this is the follow-up. We've only gotten it announced in Japan. There's even an interview with the CEO of uh, Sega Japan uh, where he talks about it and uh, he even mentions in this uh, interview that he, a lot of people were thinking that this announcement was going to be the Sega Saturn Mini and I, I gotta admit, you know, I was online, I was looking and a lot of people were saying it was either this or some sort of like streaming service but no, it looks like it's going to be the Game Gear Micro and it looks really tiny like it's going to be something that you could put in your keychain from what it looks like and they also have different variations four different colors that they're at least or advertising over in Japan um, the blue yellow red and black um, these are all colors that came out over in Japan while here in America we only got a few variations we also know because of the teaser website that the, this device is supposed to be coming out on October 6 2020 it's supposed to cost 4,980 yen, which comes out about $46 USD, which is a pretty good price considering the price, the launch of the Sega Genesis Mini. This looks like a smaller console, maybe like BMU size or a little bit bigger. So it should be interesting. Some of the games we see from the small pictures is Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Game Gear. Uh, it looks like Sonic Chaos, Shining Force 2, and some other games I can make out. But I'm assuming we're going to get more news about the Game Gear Micro when Famitsu comes out and maybe half an, uh, half the day. Maybe we'll get the lineup. We'll get more info on this. I know a lot of people had a lot of crazy ideas of what this could be. But I was not expecting a Game Gear Micro. But I guess it kind of makes sense that the technology is, you know, all there. And it's kind of cool that you could have a little device that plays all your 8-bit Game Gear games. I guess it all depends on what games they're giving you with the device and how well the device feels in your hand and the buttons. But it's pretty impressive and uh, I'm really liking the blue Game Gear or maybe the yellow. Those are the two ones I like. I think if they keep it at 50 to $60, that's a pretty cool look price and this might actually be a success just like the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive Mini. But... That's my opinion. What games would you want to see on this Game Gear Mini? Are you thinking about buying it? What color do you like? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on the next one.